the Hubble spacecraft has its own costume designer. And there's some hot new attire. We'll launch their new line next on Real World. Protective clothing for Hubble and other spacecraft is tailor-made to satisfy the most exacting customer. Who are the designers that sew the getup? Tucked away in a basement building at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, is a unique facility. Workers here precisely measure, cut, and carefully sew custom-made thermal blankets for Hubble and other space missions. Some of these workers have designing backgrounds in upholstery work, costume designing, and one even has a background in ice skating costume making. Coupled with experts in materials and mechanical engineering, the expertise at Goddard makes this center the logical home for the development and production of the blankets. Mike Weiss is Hubble's technical deputy program manager. Thermal blankets are to spacecraft as clothes are to people. Just as clothes protect our skin from nature's elements, cold winter wind or the scorching sun in the summertime, thermal blankets protect spacecraft from the harsh environment of space. Hubble orbits Earth at eight kilometers per second. At this rate, it fully circles the planet in 97 minutes and completes about 15 orbits each day. As it travels through Earth's shadow, over the side lit by the sun and around again, the telescope is exposed to both the extreme cold of deep space and the powerful heat of the sun in rapid and constant cycles. The temperature swings about 100 degrees Celsius, or nearly 215 degrees Fahrenheit, every 45 minutes. So the blankets must be able to insulate Hubble's equipment from extreme temperature changes. Years of exposure to the harsh environments of space have taken a toll on Hubble's protective multi-layer insulation. Some areas were discovered to be torn or broken during the Hubble Space Telescope second servicing mission in 1997. So the Hubble's outerwear, or thermal blanket, needs some alterations and repair. New outer blanket layers, or nobles as they're called, are designed to prevent further breakdown of the insulation and maintain normal operating temperatures of Hubble's electronic equipment. Starting with the second servicing mission in December of 1997, we noticed that the outer layer of the thermal blankets were degrading at a very fast rate. But instead of taking precious astronaut time to remove and replace the thermal blankets, we decided to take a different approach. We covered them with what we call new outer blanket layers, or nobles. They're large stainless steel panels that provide the same layer of protection as thermal blankets do. It's just a different way of thermally protecting a spacecraft. Each noble has been tested to ensure that it can withstand exposure to charged particles, X-rays, ultraviolet radiation, and thermal cycling for at least 10 years. So nobles, new outer blanket layers, will protect the thermal blanket protective layer already in place. Most blankets have 17 layers of aluminum, much like your quilt that you wear on a winter night and an outer layer of what we call aluminized Teflon. It's this outer layer that reflects five times the sun's energy as what the rest of the blanket, these layers, absorb. So delicate instruments must be kept within certain temperature ranges in space. So how did the scientists know how to design and stitch the right kind of thermal blanket? They did the math. It's everything from simple math, simple algebra. How much power is a spacecraft putting out? Power is equal to voltage times current to nonlinear analysis that involves things like quadratic equations. We even have to predict how much radiation reaches the spacecraft from the sun. All these things get combined into some very complicated mathematical formulas and models. And at the end of the day, if everything is done right, we can run those models and we can show that the temperatures on these blankets, as rapidly as they rise and fall, stay within the limits of the material and keep the spacecraft nice and toasty when it's cold in space, and nice and cold when it's warm in space. So NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center is the right place to fashion new protective clothing for future spacecraft. 
These workers use engineers' analysis of blankets retrieved by astronauts from previous service missions. The outfits designed here may never appear in fashion magazines, but these designers know that their creations are literally out of this world. Hubble's been in orbit for over 18 years. We know when we go back, the blankets will be torn and tattered. For the most sensitive areas, we're going to give them a little extra protection with new outer blanket layers so Hubble can continue its magnificent journey of exploration. Visit www.nasa.gov and search for Hubble to find more on this story and lots of other Hubble-related information.